<laughs> yeah, so I don't drink much anymore, so I'm usually in here messing around with shit. I don't watch TV much these days. I mean, it's just white noise. The occasional movie, you know. And since I don't really drink much anymore, and I have beer in the fridge, I just I have one or two, then I stop. You know, like I said, I'm trying to make better choices. All right, let's dump all this ammo. Can I see this? The thing was almost bare. What do we got in here? 70, 80 rounds, maybe. I wonder how many it takes to fill these things. Probably a shitload, right? Probably a 2,000. This is 223, right? We have a mark 22, yeah. Are these in there? Okay, good. Oh, oh yeah, we're gonna have to get another thousand just to fill the can. Now, some of you guys have been stock stockpiling this shit for a year. You must have tons of money on your hands. Dude, this doesn't need making a dent. Should have ordered the thousand. But it's a, it's, a, it's a good start. Yeah, so I uh, checked out. There's uh, maybe one Hollis that I don't have. <laughs> I got the 515. I think there's probably two or, or three I don't have. And, uh, yeah, that's about a little past halfway, so I'll get another 500 and that should top it off. Yeah, so, uh, I ordered the 530 G Elite. It's the, I think it's almost the beefiest one. It's, it's the titanium version. It's, I got the red, but they didn't have the green available, and I, I like both. I don't really... I don't mind either. You know, I like the green, I like the red. They both are crystal clear, so I go back and forth. But that's on the way. I think it comes tomorrow. Um, pricey, 500 bucks. 469. So I checked some basic reviews. It's probably the beefiest Holosun they make anyway. I don't like to compare them to things like Aimpoint because, you know, they are on different tiers. You know, I don't think anybody jumped out of a helicopter with a friggin' uh, Hollisun. I wish Ampo would get off their, <coughs> their ass and make a, like, a similar circle dot type reticle that doesn't violate uh, the intellectual property rights of Hollisun, you know, make it slightly different. You know, it's frustrating all these dudes drag you for Hollisuns. And number one, I mean, frankly, I don't care. Well, I know when I look through a Hollisun, it's crystal clear, even without my glasses. Everything else looks like shit. Including aim points, which I look through. Uh, if it has a single dot, it just it bursts into a, co a comet. It just is what it is. It's science. The shape of the eye and the result of the astigmatism makes things like that look strange. So, I mean, it's time to, for aim point to innovate some more. You know, until then, I'll run these. It's not like I'm some operator dude. But at the same time, it's frustrating. It's like, oh, another perfectly good rifle room by a Chinese bastard optic. Shut the fuck up already. Whatever, dude. Crystal clear works, and they seem to hold zero. I mean, I haven't put that to a test yet. I saw some guys are saying, well, mine lost zero after 300 rounds. Like, well, that might, that might be true. I don't know. I'll have to put enough rounds through to verify that. So that's on the way. I figured I'd get the best holosun they had for the Radiant build, so at least I made an effort to put some Gucci something. A Gucci holosun. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. I said it. And I went ahead and just pulled the trigger on that ADM, that mount they just launched, the one-third co-witness. 
ODG anodized mount for the uh, T1, T2 fr uh, footprint. So I think that's going to look pretty sweet. I spent a fortune <laughs> these past few weeks. Yeah, I don't hold on to the money very well. Oh well. It's important to me. I wanted to reach, I really enjoy this process, but I wanted to reach a certain level on the builds. And I can I think I'd safely say that after this, I'll probably slow way down. But uh, it just kind of happened organically. And, uh, you know, I don't apologize for it. I'm going to have some pretty cool stuff to freaking train on this year. And, uh, should be hoop tomorrow. The safe, uh, it's only 300 pounds. I'm, I'm assuming it gets transported by some sort of truck, and a guy or two hauls it off. I'm gonna ask him to put it up in the garage. I have an 800 pound dolly, so I'm not worried about it. I'm still not sure how I want to set it up in here yet. I'm still going back and forth. Do I want to keep the couch or I want to move the couch out there? And you know, I don't know. But if I put it there, it's probably going to block part of that couch. It's gonna, the room feels kind of cluttered. It's not very big. So i got to make a choice. First thing in the morning, I'm going to get up at like 5.30, 6 o'clock. That's the time I've been getting up lately. Uh, I think I'm going to do a quick wash of the floors. Because that thing's got to be inverted and on its back and stuff. And the dogs have been in and out of here. And I guess I'll move it out to the living room and I'll try that caddy corner idea. And then if, uh, if I like it as much as I think I'm going to, then I'll probably go to Lowe's and get some sort of little tiny bench desk thing with a chair to have a little secondary place over here to do some fine work. And uh, we'll see. I don't sit on that couch anyway. It's always covered in stuff. So I'm going to have to be more organized with my stuff. I love the journey so far. It really has been. Oh, all right. Have a good night, boys. Thanks for stopping by. Travis, turn that frown upside down, brother. You're too angry all the time, man. Well, come on. Maybe you have good reason to be. I don't, you know, I'm not taking your inventory. It's none of my business. I just hate to see you so pissed all the time. You know, it's no, it's no good for the soul. You know, that's why I try, I try to be overly positive. And I've been through some really horrible shit in my life, and to try to maintain that level of positivity, despite the reality and the bullshit of life, it's hard. But I find it it helps me stay positive. You know, but when I feel sorry for myself and get angry and all this, it just kind of cascades and shit. And just some some friendly advice. You'd be a happier man if you weren't so angry all the time by default. But maybe that's some people's way. I don't know. It's none of my business. That being said, have a good night. Until next time, Jake Maribel. I almost forgot. Um, I ordered the uh, P320 RMR plate from Forward Controls. Uh, I was in a group, and a guy posted uh, his plate in some other context and I and I commented that uh, it's like yeah I'm trying to find a CNH plate for my Legion but everywhere I look it's like back order or nowhere to be found and he's like you should probably just go with the FCD plate it's like there's an FCD plate <laughs> sweet thanks rocked over to forwardcontrols.com and uh, sure enough there it is X5 gonna have some, gonna have some, some duck on my sig cool I love the duck stuff. I don't care. So I snagged that. I finally ordered a uh, Ford Controls Castle Nut Wrench. I'm not dealing with that wonky bullshit anymore. Done. I'm surprised it took me this long. I, I didn't think I needed it. I was like, I, I can knock it out with the regular, but it's just a pain. The, the big heavy thing, it's just ridiculous. That Ford Controls design looks perfect. Nice and lightweight. And also, I see it's going to be a lot easier for the uh, CNFs because sometimes those notches that you would need for the standard armor's wrench, one's kind of blocked depending on, you know. So that'll be cool. And I ordered a, well, a little bit of swag, some duck swag. I got a nice hat on the way, OD Green with the four controls. That's going to be 
that's gonna be my main rocker. I think that was the final order of the bill, the last cent spent on this whole thing. There, there, there is no more money to spend. Everything else is paying off stuff. So that was it. So I had a good run. I'm poor again. But when it's all said and done, I have zero regrets. It's going to be cool as more money trickles in, you know. We'll have some more ammo. Oh my god, dog. In and out, in and out. Come on, dog. Come on. Jesus Christ. I put a dog door in, but it would be the size of the friggin' the regular door. Anyway, yeah, forgot that little little bit. I know you're all standing by on pins and needles, waiting for an update from Jake America. So there you go. Got a plate. I'm going to put, the, 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 obviously took the 509T off of the FN. That's going to be perfect on the... Uh, on the uh, SIG. It's going to have to rock the adapter plate that came with it because it's not a... The 509T is a bit weird. It's not a true RMR footprint. It needs an adapter. That's why it sat a bit high. So maybe there's a... We'll see how that works. Uh, it ran fine on the FN. Stayed on fine. So I'll torque it down to spec and uh, we should be good to go in that respect. Uh, I got some updates via email next to this coming Wednesday and Thursday the two main orders show up the uh, safe space order and the rail I ordered from uh, what's it called Jero brand defense I got to check the status on that I'm not sure when that's showing I think that's Saturday And uh, some other stuff will be trickling in. And we'll just start knocking it out. I'm not going to rush this one. I'm going to take my time. Enjoy it. I'm in no rush. This is a passion project for me. So, At any rate, i throw that little bit in there. Uh, have a good night. Until next time, Jake America.